Good morning, Mike. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Very well. More to the point, how are all of you? Oh, all right, sorry, that's why I'm a couple of minutes late. I was just dropping uh, Lucas out of the room. He was snoozing. Uh, so oh. I was about to feed him. So, oh. um, but anyway, you've got those two little nursery helpers to do most of the work, haven't you? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's a fine balance where I love that they want to help, but you oh. know, maybe they try and help a little bit too much yeah. and smother oh. the baby a little bit. So, Many um, congratulations once again to you all. Really so lovely, is. lovely. Thank you very much. How are you? How's everything? Well, we're end? all very well. It's been quite quiet, but beginning to sort of pep up a little bit. Mike, um, of course, it's um, World Parkinson Day on Sunday, which is a good a good opportunity to um, together um, thank all the carers and supporters and researchers and volunteers and fundraisers who do so much for, for the charities and for people who live with Parkinson's. And I'm sure we could, we could together wish them all the best in their future endeavors and to thank them for all they're doing, not least the uh, uh, volunteers who have produced all kinds of support during the pandemic to, to people who live with Parkinson. And I hope if we could say to, to them together, I hope you'll all continue doing this wonderful work and many, many people are truly grateful to you all yeah, I, I mean, I, I echo your words. Yeah. Without without those volunteers, uh, without uh, the people who give that their time to raise that awareness to, you know, obviously Parkinson's is, is a condition that um, comes with a lot of diff. It's very unique. Every individual has different symptoms, and people don't often recognise there are over fifty. I think it's over fifty symptoms now that people might not know whether it be slow walking, whether it be stopping in doorways, whether it, it you know obviously they all know most people know the shaking, but there are so many more quiet voicing, so people get frustrated when they can't hear them, but it's not their fault. Um, so thank you for everyone who is involved with any parts of, uh, of Parkinson's. It means a lot to me. Uh, 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 especially from my heart and yes. uh, please keep yes. doing it and uh, happy exactly. uh, well let's hopefully can end one day end world parkinson's day and we won't have to celebrate it anymore or, or shout about it that's that's it that's a go we, we will get there how how is your father doing um yeah he's he's all right it's been a very uh, he's probably i would say he's had a really sort of tough five years uh, yes. maybe even longer actually yeah, it's our 10 year wedding anniversary and it was probably but it was that year that he sort of through his parkinson's he his his, his spine and his back has obviously curved oh. and then it caused problem with his discs and then um he had to you know have a wheelchair at the wedding he could walk some bits of it but um, and that's sort of where the decline started because he was in hospital to have a backup and then you lose more you yeah. lose a bit more strength and then he went through a whole thing with uh, colitis, where he lost more weight, more strength, and it's. Oh, I you know, did read about that. Yeah. Yeah. When you start, when you start adding those things up, they've made a massive change over the last ten years. Yeah. Whereas yeah. before that, you know, it was a it, it was a slow, it was a lot slower process. Whereas, yeah, and then you, that. yeah, and then you throw in lockdown and not being a, literally they're both on the vulnerable list, so they have not literally left their house in a. No, in a year. Uh, it is yeah. very tough. Yeah. And um, it affects a whole family and of course not least your mother, yeah. who is yeah. the prime carer. Is that right for your dad? Yeah. 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 We keep telling her that she doesn't need to be that, but she's a very stoic northern lady who I could refu imagine. Yes. refuses to give give her yes. man up. And um, we yeah. try to we try and convince her that you're not giving up your man you're no. you're you're just allowing the frustrating parts of it that you know that get you sort of riled up that someone else yes. deals with and you and it also gives you a life what they've really missed out of this year is my mum's missed companionship really that's of course of, of being it, able to go and yes. see someone else because yes. she can't she doesn't feel now that she's comfortable leaving my dad alone and and uh, we've tried uh, having care, you know, yes. the odd carer come in and look after him to give her time. But um, it can be really difficult to persuade somebody like your mother that for her own sake, but not also not not 
only for her own sake, but also for her, her husband's sake, to, to be out a little bit and come back maybe with some news to yeah. uh, chat about. And yeah. it's quite healthy, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is, because otherwise it just sort of festers about the same conversations over and over, and then you, yeah, know, you end up having more yeah, arguments. And Mike, I think it's really interesting that you talk about this, because I think it's very important for people who you know, don't know the circumstances, how much it involves a partner or a wife or husband. It, it, it's such a teamwork, isn't it? Yeah. And, and <laughs> the team needs to be truly supported. Yeah. Com and I hope that we are doing that. Yeah, com it is completely. But in the meantime, you've been very busy with your fundraising. I was particularly impressed with your bike ride of what was it 750 kilometers yeah it's the, uh, <laughs> yeah a lot of the tour de france climbs and yeah it was tough it was a tough six days but sure. six very, days wow but yeah. very uh, very <laughs> fulfilling at the end of it um yeah. well and, done then, and then from that we started a, a mass participation event called the raid local which was basically mimicking the first day of that ride um uh, but doing it locally around your 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 own area, socially distanced with your friends, and and I think we got over a thousand <laughs> riders in the end, all around the oh, world. I must say, you're really taking your patronage of your charity very seriously and very hands-on. It's absolutely wonderful what you're doing. Yeah, I mean, but I think I think it's one of those things. I think charity is. It, it, there is a sort of duty to it in terms of trying to find something that you connect with but obviously when you connect with something so close as your father or um it, it may it makes it very simple and uh, i always say the best way is is if we can stop another son daughter ne nephew or niece having to do the same for one of their loved ones then it's it's definitely worth it yeah i'm sure your father would totally agree with that i've got yeah. my t-shirt on actually my parkinson's t-shirt on oh i see What's it say at the it bottom? Says, if nothing else, be yourself. <laughs> I don't think there's any doubt about that. Is there, Mike? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well done, you. It's been lovely to talk with you, Mike. It well, really has. Very I can't lovely. wait to see. I can't wait to see you guys. It's been yeah, so long. Hopefully, hopefully very soon. Yes, Join indeed. up with the parents and all. Yeah, Mike, yeah. all the best to the family, to the to young ones, and to to your parents. Thank you very much, and same Lots same to you. Bye-bye, Mike. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Thank you for this. Bye. Bye.